It's the hero of Damas. Come in, stay a while, tell me all about your adventures. I'm afraid I don't have the time. I see. Too important for me now. It's not that. No, no, of course not. How may I serve you then? Al Muallam has asked I take the life of the one they call Jubayer. Ah, Salah Adin's chief scholar. Strange choice of target, in my opinion. But who are we to question the master's will? I'm sure he has his reasons. Then you're familiar with the man. He's been quite busy these past few days, organizing the scholars and sending them into the streets to preach. What do they speak of? Light and fire, cleansing sins, apocalyptic nonsense, if you ask me. All this talk of paths and a new world. What about this new world? Couldn't say, I don't pay attention to the ramblings of madmen. Much too busy with real work. Very well. I'll walk among the people, see what I can learn. Where would you suggest I search? South of here, you'll find an academy and a guard tower. They're both good places to search. There's also a hospital to the east you might want to visit. I'll begin at once. So eager. You've certainly changed, and for the better, I might add. Our chance to begin a new Let Jubayer lead you to revelation. Let him lead you to the light. You live a lie, surrounded by false knowledge, created by wicked men who seek dominion over your minds. Locked away, they might still be discovered, but once burned, these texts can no longer do harm. Jubayer sees things the way they truly are, sees the poison you carry in your hearts and minds. He works to cast it out. Remove all texts from your homes and schools. Give them to us. They must be destroyed. the answer, my child. In this we agree, so speak and I may stay my blade. What is it your master intends? Why destroy all this knowledge? We lay the stones to build a road upon which soon all men will travel. It leads to a better tomorrow. That is not what I see. You are blind. The words upon these parchments, they are poison. Jubayer holds the cure. He'll free us from their lies. It's nonsense you speak. You've lost your mind. No, not lost, but found. I see the world for what it truly is. He has shown me so much. I am illuminated. The fanatic is all you are, and dangerous for it. Do what you must, it changes nothing. We are not afraid. You should be. Get away from me! Oh. 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 
I wish to see him, to hear him speak. It can be arranged, but we must be careful. There are still those who reject illumination. They would harm him. Then they are ignorant and afraid. You seem sincere, but how do I know I can trust you? It hurts me to even hear you ask the question. Very well. We gather each day in the madrasa. He comes to speak, and then leads us into the city, that we might cleanse it. Could I join you then? Understand that it is a difficult path we walk. Our work demands sacrifice. I understand. Then come and meet with us. Let us see how strong you really are. A few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. Is that Christian king and his army of infidels. They go against the will of God and must be no, made to pay. I have nothing. Oh. Did you see I that? Beg you. I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins, please. Ha! Huh. Never seen someone do that before? I haven't. I don't understand what he's trying to accomplish. Leave, peasant, before I make you. Bad news, brother. I killed a Templar this morning. Well, I suppose that's actually good news. I even found a letter on him which I gave to Namayir, who said he'd find you and deliver it. But from the look in your face, I suspect this hasn't happened. Go on then. Don't waste any more time with me. Seek Namayir and get that letter. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. He's going to hurt you, that man. Thinking. Out here, here. Take this. I've been looking everywhere for you. Now I can finally return to Masiaf. Last time I offered to do someone a favor. the wanted man, as am I. I must prepare my family for the trip back to the safety of Masayef this afternoon. Could you finish my last assignment in exchange for information? Some men must be eliminated in Jubair's quarter. Be fast, my friend. Have you gone mad? My family is sick and dying. <laughs> This is a tragedy, but I say, this is an honor to die as a to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is greater glory than this. Just a few points, please. I'm so hungry. Just a little while. He looks like he's being chased by someone. I'm glad to finally meet you, friend. Fire! 
Bother someone else. I wonder if he's being chased by someone. How reckless can one get? Why would you do that when she stops? They leave horrors in their wake. It's a fate to see you back so quickly and in one piece. I must return to my family, but before I leave, this is for you. I found a map showing where scholars are planning to burn books and other sources of knowledge. Please be careful, and let the future reunite us. I'll give your blessings to my family. the place. It's just as you described it. I suspect he'll want to deal with this himself, and quickly. Best we say nothing to the others. A wise course of action. Truth be told, I'll be happy when this business is done. Soon, my friend, soon. Today should see the last of them put to torch. Boy, come here. You still have the letter I gave you? Yes. Go and deliver it there. You'll find the one it's meant for inside the madrasa. Everywhere they ride, they leave only suffering in their wake. They say it is a crusade. A crusade for what? Ignorance? Violence? Madness? We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. Praise be Salahani! Altai, your name is on everybody's lips these days, and for once their words are kind. If you're truly a changed man, perhaps you'd be willing to do me a favor. Jubair has employed certain merchants to spy on the citizens for him. They feed him names in exchange for gold. You'd be doing all the city a great service if you were to find these merchants and destroy their stalls. This should end their evil. <laughs> Well, 
I wonder where he got I beg of Go you. away. I beg of you just a few coins, please. Let Exchange, I'll share my knowledge with you. Your target is likely to be dressed much like his followers. So here is how to distinguish him from the others. He wears rich golden robes and carries with him a large pouch. Find him, brother. Make him feel pain. news, Altair. I've learned much about my enemy. Share what you know, then. Jubayer has become obsessed with purging the city of its knowledge. The most terrible crime. Now I see why al Mualim wants you to remove him. He's using the city scholars to assist him. They go out into the streets, harassing the people and collecting all their written works. I fear he intends to destroy them all. He must be stopped. That's why I'm here. He's to hold a meeting soon at the Madrasa al Qalasa. It's where I'll go. It's where I'll take his life. I'll leave you alone to prepare. Bring glory to the Brotherhood. Fast forwarding enemy to a more recent one. Be here. Be gone. Come no further. Every single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons meant to guide us, to save us from the darkness that is ignorance. No, 
These bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How can you accuse these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there? Or why? No, you simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the gift of knowledge. We need them. You love your precious writings. You do anything for them? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Then join them! Ah! Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good. Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them, that they may be destroyed. must be free to do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn, fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness for which there is but one cure. You're wrong. And that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah ad and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I, too, was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I. Come on, come on. 
Altair, tell me you've met with success. Yes. Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news! I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The things I've seen these past few weeks. It's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war. That sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafiq. Upon you as well. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Welcome home, child. What news? Another of the named is put to rest. Then it would appear your work is nearly complete and your status restored. A question, Master, if I may. Ask, and I will answer. Why these men? Jubayer and Sabrand? Ah, don't you see? They paved the way for change. Ensure threats both old and new are not given cause to intervene. To weaken them is to weaken our enemy. I suppose that makes sense. Were these men to continue their work, our work would quickly be undone. How is that? We've caused them much grief. We strike at the arms, yes. But this is a hydra that you face, and it is quick to replace that which is severed. Then we should lop off its head and be done with this. Soon, soon. We are close. Only one more man stands between us and our ultimate goal. I will return to my work. The sooner this last man dies, the sooner I might face our true enemy. Before you go, I have a question for you. Of course. What is the truth? We place faith in ourselves. We see the world the way it really is, and hope that one day all mankind might see the same. What is the world, then? An illusion. One which we can either submit to, as most do, or transcend. What is it to transcend? To recognize nothing is true and everything is permitted. That laws arise not from divinity but reason. I understand now that our creed does not command us to be free. It commands us to be wise. Do you see now why the Templars are a threat? Whereas we would dispel the illusion, they would use it to rule. Yes, to reshape the world in an image more pleasing to them. That is why I sent you to steal their treasure. That is why I keep it locked away. And that is why you kill them. So long as even one survives, so too does their desire to create a new world order. Take your equipment. 
Seek out this last man. With his death, Robert de Sable will at last be vulnerable. It will be done. Safety and peace upon you, Altair. <laughs>